In this video, we will be demonstrating how to apply the coaptation splint. We want to have the patient flex the elbow to 90 degrees. Then you measure approximately two finger breaths from the axilla, wrap around the elbow, and measure up to the AC joint. We will use this padding to measure out how long the fiberglass splint should be. The padding should be longer than the fiberglass. So as you can see here, when we lay down the padding, it should extend approximately a few inches past both ends of the fiberglass. This is important because you want to make sure the ends of the splint are cushioned, especially if it's going to be near the axilla. We will put about eight layers of padding here. We'll have about two or three layers of padding just to cover the fiberglass. We'll be using four inch fiberglass. We'll dunk the fiberglass in the cool water once, squeeze underwater. Lightly shake the water off of the fiberglass. We conveniently already have the length of the fiberglass splint measured out from before. We'll go ahead and place it down on the larger padding. Go ahead and put nine layers of the fiberglass down. We'll go ahead and get another roll of fiberglass tape to continue the splint. Now go ahead and laminate the splint. Now we'll apply the two or three layer padding on top of the fiberglass splint. We'll fold the edges over. Remember that the side with the most padding should go against the skin. You have the patient hold the splint underneath their axilla. Position the patient with the elbow flex at 90 degrees. Wrap the splint around the elbow and have him drop the arm. You can have someone else help hold the splint at the top. Keep the elbow flexed at 90 degrees and go ahead and start wrapping the splint. You start wrapping proximal to the elbow joint, then you catch the elbow, then start wrapping distally. 
thing to wrap up around proximally again. You want to wrap the splint snugly, but not too tight. Continue to wrap as high as you can. Now I've completed the cohabitation splint, you can remove the pillow and go and have the patient lean forward and keep the elbow at 90 degrees. Just have the patient relax and let the arm hang. This is the ideal position for the cuff and collar, which is not shown in this video. Before the splint fully hardens, you can take it off a little early to check for creases and pressure points. Make sure the owner nerve is not compressed. You can add padding as necessary. Now go ahead and reapply the coaptation splint. Make sure the elbow is at 90 degrees and wrap the elbow as shown. Remember, the coaptation splint needs a cuff and collar. I'd like to give a special thanks to Frankie Salazar and West Coast Sports Medicines.